Hello and welcome back to the channel. So in this uh, little quick video, we're going to show you putting the GTN 750 into uh, the TBM 850. So yeah, it's a G1000, but as everybody's found, uh, the G1000 kind of sucks and it gets even worse when you do put the Navigraph in. You can't do some routings. There's, there's, it's just... It's not really a good G1000. It's actually a horrible G1000. Carinato should really be ashamed of themselves. They should have done a much better job. Anyway, once you've gone over to Avsim and you've talked to Bert Pike about his awesome mod, uh, there's just search for it, um, GTN mod. Um, he's got a uh, panel file, so you get that zip drag that into your sim objects airplanes Carinato TBM 850. Now need to modify the aircraft config first. So what's nice here is the original panel doesn't get touched by adding an extra folder. Uh, everything's been placed in here that needs to be placed in here um, which is really nice with the panel config. This we will be touching. So what do we do first? Well, oops. We first edit the aircraft config file. I suggest Notepad++. So here we're going to come in and with nothing uh, like the plane we're in right now, it will load the normal panel. But we are going to put GTN in and we're going to save. So that is now going to point to that. So for now, uh, we'll leave this alone. And uh, we'll come back to it. So now we're going to load that other model of TBM. So A50 Serial November is the model that right away it doesn't have that other startup screen. This has been kept. Um, now that we've done that, now we can come in to our add ons. We go into our Reality XP uh, GTN and we are going to set up the aircraft. So we're going to configure it uh, first to replace. So we're going to replace a gauge. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and click continue. So we want to replace the F1 GTN with the GTN 750. We're going to leave it at the same size. Uh, here, virtual cockpit number two. Uh, we also want to replace it with the GTN 750. I believe this is the one because in the virtual cockpit we then give it no bezel so it'll fit nicely in there. Uh, and virtual cockpit 3, uh, TBM uh, gauge autopilot TBM. I think we're going to leave that alone. Uh, I think that's the modifications that Bert made to the autopilot as well to make it work a little bit easier. All right, so we're gonna replace those items and away we go. We're gonna hit accept. We're gonna let Reality XP do its thing. All right, so now, there we go. Now we got the Garmin coming alive. So now what we also wanna do, so you'll see right away, um, this is where we've got a bit of a problem. So. Just a slight uh, sizing uh, issue. So what we're going to do is we're now going to go back into our panel uh, dot uh, GTN, and now we're going to edit that config. So let's go ahead, find our virtual cockpit. Here we go. And we're going to modify uh, the GTN. So we got to play with these numbers a little bit to try to get this uh, to sit uh, properly in uh, the dash. So uh, let's go ahead and we will play with, where did our virtual cockpit go? There it is. We are going to play with this guy. start with zero. So move that out of the way, come back in here, go to vehicle, uh, select, 
and let's load back in. I think I used to have a button for reloading the sim object. So this is looking a little bit better. Uh, so zero is better, but zero is uh, not perfect for where we want to get to. It's pretty easy to just kind of tweak it. So let's go now to 20 pixels and let's see what uh, what that does for us. Hit save. And in general, this is just a really easy way to go and modify your um, your panels. You just kind of poke at it. Poke and poke and poke and poke and poke uh, until you get it the way you want it. Now we are uh, at the top, we're good. But at the bottom, we've uh, we've now dropped off the bottom. So now what we need to do is let's take this one. We'll go 224. Almost there. Let's go with 219 this time. Save it. And let's reload uh, the plane. Oh, now we're. Yeah, so we're we're real close with uh, with that number. It looks like so we're gonna go uh, 135, uh, and then we'll leave the bottom at 195, and see if that uh, if that better suits us. So we're gonna hit save, and then I'm just gonna reload sim object. A little trial and error little bump 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 so there we go and actually if we maybe I should have done this would have been smarter look at that get in nice and tight all right so see all that go into the map see the bottom edge you can see the top edge just fine see the side edge and then uh, we are good over here as well now that I'm done with that because I use an external uh, view so I've got uh, an external monitor that I actually run my uh, GTN in I'm gonna come into uh, GTN set up aircraft and I want to configure a pop-out window and I want one window and I want my GTN 750 uh, we're gonna go ahead and go lower left Quarter scales fine. Well, 750 advanced options. It'll be unit number one, and it will have no bezel. Thank you. I love this so much. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead, hit that. Go ahead and accept that. So we're just gonna undock that view. We're gonna bring our. Hey, come over here. Gonna bring it over, and we are going to throw it there. And now we've got. them perfectly synced up so there we go uh, the only thing left to do now is to shift right click to bring up the configuration items master device is good connect uh, GPS to HSI um, I can't remember from the TBM if we need to hook up the GPS to the VOR or the uh, or the HSI or the course uh, we will find out uh, when uh, we fly it if some of these things don't seem to work right. So, uh, transponder settings, VFR code, we are good. Use transponder, use audio panel, absolutely. Uh, we'll use, 
worldwide Jeppesen or should we use North American Garmin? Um, we'll use worldwide Jeppesen, why not? Terrain, uh, terrain proximity, Taws A, Taws B. Uh, we'll go with that one, hard. Uh, minimum runway length, uh, we can. What are we gonna go with? 2500? Sure, this can get in and out of 2500, why not? Com radios, com one, nav one, nav one, jet A. It is a turbo prop when the avionics goes on. Uh, yes. Uh, avionics on, sure. Clock source simulator, screen brightness. Sure. Button brightness, sure. Uh, we could use half rate screen update if we wanted to, uh, you know, worry about frames, but I think we're okay. And of course, the most important part, use simulator GPS commands. Absolutely got to have those. Uh, AFMS, we are CDI key enabled, select course for GPS is enabled, selected course for VLOC is enabled. Oh, auto coursing, great. Uh, GPS selected auto, engaged autopilot approach is disabled, so manually have to go into approach mode, cool. Uh, airspace labels enabled. Uh, we're gonna go with VNAV, transition to approach is enabled, VDI scale, flight level 1800. All right, we are good, accept and reboot. So these should be the last of the items as it reboots the Garmin for us. Actually, it is, we're missing some stuff on that screen. Um, so I was wrong. We're gonna need to come over here uh, and we're gonna need to maybe back that up a little bit. So let's go ahead and let's go for uh, 215. Hit that save button. And then we will uh, reload and hit continue. Yes, so now you can see I missed that line, uh, that bottom part of the line. So 215 is not enough. 212, we'll try 212. Um, and if you see what I'm talking about, uh, that's good up at the top. That's nice and clean, but right there at the bottom. All right, so we've got that uh, saved. Let's go ahead and fire it up again. I think it's going to be like 210. So close. So close. Close enough. You can read it. Close enough that you can read it. So with that, I think uh, the Burt mod and getting it onto the real sim gear panel, uh, pretty straightforward. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.